Okets is the Army's crack dog handling unit where soldiers train their dogs to sniff out explosives, flush out terrorists, hunt down fugitives, detect infiltrations along Israel's border and participate in search and rescue missions. In recent years, the unit has become an integral part of major military operations in the West Bank, Gaza and in the Second Lebanon War. I'm uh, First Lieutenant Liad Diamond and I'm in charge of uh, operations here at the OKETS Operational uh, Canine Unit. Um, this uh, special unit, uh, together with Man's Best Friend, works uh, joined together with people and dogs in order to uh, 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 save lives and actually uh, uh, use the great abilities that the dogs have in order to locate explosives, uh, work all kinds of uh, checkpoints places in, uh, in order to locate infiltrations of uh, uh, weapons and ordnance uh, from Judea and Samaria and the Gaza Strip. Uh, also, this unit has a search and rescue program in which we train animals. Uh, we train dogs to locate live people uh, that are underneath debris or disaster areas, also after an earthquake or uh, missing people. Um, and that's about it. No longer just clerks and instructors. Women are increasingly being put in combat roles by the IDF and are rising to meet the challenge. In order to confront the ongoing Palestinian terror and the spate of suicide bomb attacks, the army began deploying female combatants in the West Bank and Gaza in 2001. <laughs> היא הולכת לסרוק יחד עם הכאב את כל הרכב מסביב, בעצם לזכות אותו מהסלקות של חומרי נפץ או אמצעי לחימה. Each soldier in the unit is assigned a dog that is trained to respond to its owner's commands. A very strong relationship is formed between the two. If soldiers return from mission safely, they say it's because their dogs did the job. With training at a temporary halt due to a heavy heat wave, the dogs remained in their kennels. However, in, in order to ensure that man's best friend remains in top physical condition, the dogs attend a gym at the base, exchanging the ground for a treadmill. This is a special uh, treadmill for dogs, in which uh, we bring all dogs in order to uh, uh, run in, in a different environment. Uh, because of the heat, uh, we work inside this uh, uh, special room. This is a special treatment for dogs. Each dog has his own, uh, each dog has his own uh, program in which he has to stand. The program has been decided by uh, uh, the licensed vet that we have here on base, uh, that he's the only one who decides exactly how much the dog will run, what the dog will eat, what kind of exercise the dog needs. Well, this unit has seen a lot of growth in the uh, recent uh, spate of terrorism. Uh, especially after 9-11, the usage of dogs in the world has grown. Uh, especially here in the country, we've seen, uh, when we are still seeing, uh, a large number of work that these dogs uh, perform. Uh, the dogs are a very good uh, assistant for us to work at all kinds of uh, locations, especially at checkpoints, in which we can search much more quicker and much more uh, 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 safer, uh, with the dog, you, you search the outside of the vehicle in order to locate explosives or guns and stuff like that that they're trying to uh, move from uh, uh, place to place. Um, there is a growth, and there's still going to be a lot of usage of dogs. Okay, so at the beginning, it started to be like that we were going to be a soldier. Then we were going to be a soldier, and we were going to be a soldier. ואותי אישית, אוקיי, צריכים לעבוד עם כלבים שגם אהבתי את זה באזרחות וגם 
סתם, אנשים ששאלתי ואמרו לי מה היחידה עוסקת, ממש התעניינתי בנושא, וזהו, זה התגלגל והגעתי לפה. אני גם ממש אוהבת כלבים, זה ממש משך אותי לעבוד איתם, לראות איך הם עובדים. זה גם הרבה מעבר לזה, זה גם סוג של כל השגרה הזאת שאנחנו נמצאים בה, פתאום לעבוד עם כלב זה תמיד שובר לך את השגרה, הוא כל פעם מפתיע אותך מחדש וגורם לך עוד הנאה לשירות, גם אם יש לך סיבות לחזור בחזרה לבסיס, יש לך למה לצפות, מישהו שמחכה לך ומת לראות אותך כבר. תמיד יש סיפור, גם במחסום, שאת... כשאת עובדת, את מרגישה שכן את עוצרת איזושהי, איזושהי פעולה שיכולה לראות עצם זה שאת עם הכלב, זה כבר uh, מתריע במחסום. אז כל דבר שאת עובדת עם הכלב, גם אם זה באימון, את מרגישה סיפור, כי תמיד את מתקדמת לאנשהו. אני כאילו אה, פונה כאילו לבנות שרוצות להתגייס ומתלבטות וזה, אז באמת שזה תפקיד, אה, אחד התפקידים בצה"ל, ואומנם אני לא מכירה טוב תפקידים אחרים, אבל אני יודעת להגיד שזה תפקיד ממש ממש מעניין, ומי שתגיע לכאן ממש כאילו... Asked if their family supported the decision to serve in combat units, the girl said. זה בסופו של דבר אנחנו מחליטות. יש הורים שקשה להם יותר, כי יש לנו בנות שיותר קשה להם בבית, שההורים יותר דואגים, אבל אין מה לעשות, מקבלים את זה. ההורים שלי ממש שמחו. גם אחותי הייתה לוחמת, אז זה בא אצלנו במשפחה. כן. אצלי גם, תמיכה מלאה מההורים ודירבון באמת להגיע לכאן, כולם תומכים. If the military echelon continues to integrate females into more challenging military position, then who knows what the future will bring. It is quite possible that one day we will have a female chief of general staff.